Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano. We're live streaming. We're going to be doing some droidy stuff today. So let's uh, let's switch my views. Oh, why does the chat do that? I hate when the chat does that. Look how huge and awkward that looks. That's crazy. Let's make you smaller. There you go, tiny chat. Tiny chat. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Charlie's here. What's going on? Charlie the boss. I see Sir James is here in the chat. Fortnite Master. Katie Video Productions. Oh, thank you. You like the shirt? Rebels, brother. Rebels. <laughs> Yay, Druidge. Uh, uh, um, just a heads up. I am, like, not in the mood for obnoxious people. Um, so I'll just, like, block you. <laughs> it's that simple. If you if I just see something annoying in the chat, I'm just going to like shut you down real quick just cuz let's keep this a fun place. If you're not going to be fun, why are you here? Oh yeah, no worries. Did anybody is anyone uh SoCal people who are here? Did anyone feel that earthquake? Yeah, I'm doing something with droids. I'm going to be painting my droids. I'm going to I got paint brushes. I got thing and things. Uh, I'm doing good, but yeah, did anybody feel that earthquake? I felt my first earthquake today. It was actually it was pretty interesting. I was like, wow, this is what an earthquake feels like, huh? <laughs> I'm uh, I didn't feel a 6.6. I don't live in California. I live in Las Vegas, which is the weirder part because I'm so, I'm far away. I'm like four hours away driving, you know, but I'm hundreds, like 300 miles away almost. Um, and I still felt it. Like I was in my office and I felt like everything moving. I was like, what is that? Is it a washing machine? And, um. And my wife came up and was like, you feel that? And we felt like all my toys and everything kind of move a little bit. Like the doors moved. And I was like, oh, this is nuts. Um, it was my first time feeling it. So I was pretty excited afterwards. <laughs> you were walking. Oh, Jeanette uh, Kanzala said you were walking when it happened. Did you feel it? Like, did you feel it when? Because I heard some people were like, yeah, I didn't notice it. I was outside. So, yeah. America's birthday. <laughs> we're going to be doing sparklers and snakes for days. Uh, Bright suns. What's going on, Steve? You were just there last weekend. Thunder chickens are like the sad baby squad. Disney IRL TV. Sorry if I offended you. Um, I don't know what all that means, but yeah, Disney IRL TV. Tony, I saw him. Uh, it was gnarly. Everything's good out here, though. That's good. That's good. You were asleep. Am I excited for Fallen Order? Yeah, I'm very excited. It was rough, man. The earthquake was rough, but thankfully you didn't. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't have any problems, man. Hope everybody stays safe out there. Um, you saw the weather droid post earlier. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I need to share the stream. In the, um, there's a Facebook group. Did you know that? Did you know I started a, a Facebook group for droid builders? Let's, let me just, boom. Let me just share this right now on the Facebook group. It's called the uh, Mubo's Droid Builders Club. So if you have a droid or you're looking to build a droid at Galaxy's Edge, um, let me just write this out real quick. Live, join me live. <laughs> Uh, but if you, yeah, Bubo's Droid Builders Club, whether the droid you must, oh, thank you, KD Video Productions. You want me to do it in the Yoda voice? Ah, that chat's so big. Why is the chat so gigantic? Chat, what are you doing? You're killing me, chat. Oh, undo. Just kidding. Okay, I broke it. Well, goodbye forever, chat. <laughs> what did you say? Whether the droid you must, yes. <laughs> That's just the creepiest smile I can give Yoda. Happy I am. Fourth of July it is. Firecrackers. Explode they will. <laughs> I have too much fun with that stuff. The droid looks awesome. Cool. I'm going to be doing mostly um, my BB unit today. I want to. I do want to show you guys my, uh, my R unit. I even like... I even add stuff to this. Oh no! No wonder. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, come on, face ID. For some reason, I just might as well keep it out. Um, but I added even just a little bit of weathering on like the edges of this thing. So you guys can see. I added a little bit of wash the other day, but I'm going to do more on him today. Figured I'm going to go see Spider Man in a couple hours. So I might as well, um, you know, I've got a couple hours to kill. Might as well paint. So I've got some inspiration up on the screen, as you can see. But look, I added like all these little silver details to make it look like you know the paint rubbed off. 
just a little bit of silver kind of everywhere. I, uh, I painted the inside. You can kind of see it through the dome there. I'm going to see if I can get this off. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> it's official. It's an official video. There we go. That's a little better. What did I just lose? Wow, that was a cap to a lens to my camera. So I've got my phone set up over here on a little like holder thing, but it keeps falling. Uh, no, not a pano, you dingus. Let's do a regular vid. There we go. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys. I, I gave it a black wash because this was all silver at first. So I gave it a black wash. Uh, before I did a little brown wash against the edge because I figured that's where dirt would get. Uh, but then there's like a black wash I did to it. And then I went in and just detailed. I went, started with red. I was like, we'll do red here, here, here. And then I turned it. I was like, okay, we'll do red here, 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 here. And I added just little red accents. And then I hit it with gold accents. I was like, okay, well, this side needs a little gold. This side needs a little gold. This side needs some, you know, and I kind of just went through evening it out and kind of, you can see there's like a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of red everywhere just to give it that, you know, so it looks like a real, like real wiring and stuff. Uh, so if you're going to be doing that, that's what I would do. Like I just kind of went in and I looked for all these like little specific spots here. Uh, still was still ring to see the new, oh, you're waiting to see new Spider-Man? Yeah. He will laugh, squad. Give him time. You guys trying to make me laugh? Is that what you're doing? You're trying to make me laugh? <laughs> um, well, there you go. It happened. When are you doing Peace and Justice review? Whenever I get a chance. Will you do customizations for lightsabers? Yeah, maybe. I, I know you guys want me to, so I will for that reason. But I personally don't want to. Um, I just not. I think they're cool as is. I mean, I might do the Elemental Nature one. Just because that one, I think, needs it more than anybody. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I guess I should, because I can always buy more pieces. Grow a beard. I just shaved all of it. I, like, trimmed everything down. And I don't want to grow a bigger beard, because it's like, I'm getting old and gray, as you can see. And um, it's just, it gets gross, and it grosses me out, like, personally, to have it on my face. So now I probably won't be growing up. And I look so much older with more facial hair, and I'm not going to dye it, because I'm like, nah, I'm not about that life. I used to dye my hair way back when. But, like, not, and I don't mean, like, black. I mean, like, weird colors, like blue and red and stuff. Way back in my younger days. Uh, but let's let's do some painting. Again, I just wanted to show you the dome. There's the whole dome. So if you're going to be doing any customization on your droid, just something to keep in mind. Like, it always looks good when you hit the corners of things. Because, realistically, the corners would bump. Like, you know, that's what makes paint chip on a real item. Is so you hit those corners, and I hit all of them, like even the tops, everything. I hit all the corners with silver just to make it look like paint chipped off on the edges. So, yeah, there you go. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad you guys like the inside of the uh, the inside of the R unit. I thought thought that was just a cool touch to like add that. Oh, and another thing, uh, dirt dripping dirt. See, I put a little brown right here. I have it like kind of dripping down because like it's like rust. So I did that a couple times on the body, too. You can kind of see it, like, dripping down. So just some tips for you if you uh, plan on customizing your own droid. Um, what, what do we got here? Let me read the chat. Have you done or... Oh, see, I'm going to lose my phone here in a second. It's, like, plugged into the computer, but in a stand that's, like, upright. And I, I guarantee it's going to get knocked over at some point. You know what? Let's, uh, let's turn these guys on. Let's see if maybe they'll... We'll get them to boop and beep a little bit. Oh, here we go, KD Video Productions. Be patient, guys. You will do reviews soon. Yes. Patience. You must learn. Patience. <laughs> there you go. I'll do reviews. I, I will. I just, like, it's hard. You know, getting home from work and then be like, okay, I got to sit here for another, like, eight hours, plan a video for, like, two hours, record it probably for, like, an hour, edit it for another four after already working eight hours in a day. So it's like, uh, I have to just get in the grind and do it. And uh, it's been hard lately. I've been coming home, just, like been doing other things, running this new Facebook group, really working on bringing up my uh, Instagram game, <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff like that. You were promised sparklers and snakes for the day. Where are they? I haven't bought any yet. We actually haven't bought any fireworks. I asked my kids, it's like, okay, you want to go get fireworks today? And they were like, eh, no. Like, really? Like, what kind of kids don't want to blow stuff up on 4th of July? It's like the one time a year where you're allowed to go just, like, blow stuff up. 
and they're like, no, it's cool. I just want to sit here and play Fortnite. Kids. Kids these days. Oh, <laughs> okay. Matthew Innes, you've asked this 8 billion times. The answer is, I don't know when I'm doing Peace and Justice Review. Soon. That's my answer. Soon. But um, if you want to keep spamming the same thing over and over, I'm just going to throw you in timeouts. It's just easier that way for me. Am I seeing Spider-Man? Yeah, I'm going to go see Spider-Man just a little bit. Blow up one of the mini droids. Oh, I don't want to blow up my action figures. That would be kind of cool, though. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you guys like that. I'm glad you guys like that. But yeah, so today I'm going to be working on this little stinker. This little stinker guy. Let me... That's so much better. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be working on him. And I'm, I still don't fully know what I'm actually going to do. Is this thing recording? Good, it is recording. Um, I don't fully know what I'm going to paint. I kind of want to do like some straight up silver on some parts. Oh, you're painting too. That's awesome. What is this guy talking about? Well, welcome to the channel. It's weird you're here. You live in Iran. This dream is as good as a convention gets for me. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, where get hat? I need it. You asking about my hat? Um, there's a link down below, actually, a Spreadshirt link. It's just got my logo on it. I put the patches on myself. I found those through um, I think it's heroesandvillains.com, but they look kind of like pilot, you know, pilot things. So that's my. But I custom. I always make hats, and then I paint the bottom. Actually, I should probably show you. It says I am the rebellion, and it's got a helmet on there, and I added the paint. But the, those the other two things are patches I just stuck up there. Are you going to paint the core of the BB? I, do you think I should? The reason I don't think so is because I'm never going to see it. You know, you don't really see it. You just kind of... I mean, there's opportunity in there to maybe paint something. But you don't see it often enough. I am going to paint the shell. And I'm going to paint my extra legs. So one thing... Um, I know since there's usually new people in here. If you go to Galaxy's Edge, you can purchase a bundle of legs... They come like this, like bundled together, for twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, you get two new legs, or you can spend twenty bucks on a spare part and just get a dome, or you can spend twenty bucks and just get this little middle leg for twenty bucks. That one leg, but they sell droid parts. They call it droid service on the receipt. Uh, but you can buy spare droid parts for twenty bucks a piece at the Droid Depot if that's your thing. Uh, someone says you shouldn't. There's no point. Yeah, I agree. I agree. When you get your droid made, you're making it red and white. That's cool. You just got Cloud City Micro Machines. Oh, nice. Nice. I want to say, it looks cool if you're going to show someone, right? But how often am I going to really show someone? Uh, what is this? Really, Rice World says, really, is that new? You tried to buy extra and they told you no. It is new within the last week. Um, I went and did it last Saturday. And I just kind of went up and said, hey, you know, I need to buy a, a spare droid part. And the cashier was like, okay, which part do you need? Uh, I heard reports that some people were able to go to the conveyor belt and pick it and come back and pay for it, the front register, not the one where you buy the droid, the front register. Um, but my experience was I asked, and the guy said, yeah, what do you want? I'll go get it for you. And then he came back, brought it back. And so I wasn't sure at first. I had to go to the wall of pieces and like take a picture of this and be like, "This is that's the one I want. Um, you cannot buy the core, though. The core, the, the motivator, is not for sale. Same with the BB unit. This is not for sale separately. Only, but you can buy a BB head. This is one piece. The um, part that you screw in, that's a separate piece. So this would be 40 bucks for both the bottom chunk and the top chunk. Uh, and then this, these come bundled together. So you can get a whole new set of plates for the ball for 20 bucks. So that's, that's cool too. That's really cool too. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Can I get this one over? It makes noise, even though it's not even like. <laughs> it's just funny. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna paint the actual motivator of the um, the BB unit, but I've got my silver, and I think I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna put some silver accents on here. What do we got here? You're gonna buy a new dome piece. Did you hear your cat's name was Bach? No, I didn't. You should get R2D2 earrings. No, probably not. Uh, I'm about to get his Bob Ross on, paint some happy trees, you know it. If you ever make a droid, I'll use a remote control car. That's smart. Black Kyber Crystal Review, no. Moof Milker, no. Where is the ladies... This is kids stuff? What? Okay, I don't like you. Amir, what is this guy? You've, you've annoyed me. So much. It's really easy to just hide the user on the channel. I have no problem doing that. Um, so... <laughs> 
there it is. Cool. Love the weathering. Yeah, right? Who's this guy looking for? He's just being annoying. Again, if you want to be annoying, cool. I'm just going to remove you. Just makes my life so much faster and easier. Um, yeah. Let's plop some silver down. I don't know what exactly. I mean, I, I have an idea. Like, I want these edges. I want all these little edges to have a little bit of silverware on them. So I'm going to get in here, and I'm just going to lightly brush a little bit of silver. Just kind of give it that that look of like, oh, yeah. It did get worn. And like, the paint's chipping off. And again, I don't want to go too crazy. I want it to be real subtle. Do you do anything for the fourth? It's still the fourth. What kind of paint do I use? That's a good question. I always use Liquitex Basics. That's my favorite brand of paint. You love the channel. Oh, awesome. Can you buy green panels? I don't know if they sell green panels. I know they sell green decals, like stickers that go on. But I don't think they have green panels. That's a good question, though. Should I get a Selby's Workshop lightsaber or a Legacy? Whatever you want, man. Whatever you can afford and whatever you want. Um, I like Savi's more, but that's me. I like the, the idea that you can, like, mix and match pieces. So what do you want to be able to make next at the Droid Depot, Dan? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to make all the R units, man. I'm, I'm, I think I really want an R5-D4. And he's on the screen right now. He's right there. Uh, I want R5-D4, just like that one. Because that's what I was going to build initially. And then I got in there on that first day, and I was like, oh, no. I remember that I'd asked you guys here on the YouTube community, what should I name my droid? What kind of droid should I make? And what should I name it? And you guys said, no, you should make it look like the channel logo and name it, you know, S4DB4BY, someone came up with, and I was like, that's genius. So that's what I ended up with. Um, and I, you know, I love it. I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, no, that's, that's perfect. You guys are genius. Um, but I was going to initially do an R5D4. And so now I'm like, well, are the droids worth it? I think so. Again, it's always, everybody's got different opinions, and that's fine too. Uh, it depends on if you're going to play with it, you know? Like, are you going to play with it when you get home? Or is it just going to sit there? If it's just going to sit there, then no, it's not worth it. But if you plan on like having fun with it and playing with it, I think it's worth it. And again, you've, if you guys have watched my videos, um, you know that I definitely play with mine. I use them in the videos all the time. So, does the BB look unstable when rolling? Yeah. Yeah, if, it came to, if you had to choose between one or the other, I would recommend the R unit every day over, over the BB unit. Um, just It just works better, you know? It just works so much better. Uh, where's the space monkey thing? Who? This guy? Sebasquabid, he's right there. Oh my god, enough of that rose gold plate. Like, is it even, it's not even cool. I watched this stupid video. The one with the guy who only rose gold plated his lightsaber. That's cool. Is it? It's not. It's actually not cool. Like, there's nothing cool about it. It's, ro it's rose gold, like, rose gold is, I mean, I'm, I'm personally just annoyed by it. It's a stupid fad, I think. Um, in my like, I, if you can like like it if you want, but like my personal opinion is like lame. Why why do you guys kind of make everything rose gold? But again, I prefer more creative things. Like if this guy was going to customize his lightsaber, I, I see why he did rose gold just because he knew like well people are going to share that. Um, but it doesn't look cool. Like it doesn't look much cooler. Well, at least I don't think it does. Um, but had he done something like, oh no, I went like full on real leather wrapping, I made like a resin whole, uh, tooth, then I'd be like, okay, that's impressive. You took it and elevated it. The rose gold thing is just like, yeah, that's kind of lame. Way to go being lame. But people seem to be sharing it, so good on them, good on that channel for doing that. Like, you know, I mean, if you can get people to like show up to other people's videos and keep talking oh. about it, you know, I know. But yeah, if you can get other people to show up to like other people's live streams and talk about that one silly thing, then you know what? You've made a successful little video. Good for you. So good on them for doing that. Not my style though. Not what I'm after. Alright, so yeah, so I'm just adding little, just little silver, you know, just little things to make him look a little more worn. You can kind of see. And I, I just really feel like that's going to be the, uh, the game changer on this guy. And I might do a little bit more in some places than others. But I want him to have just this like beat up, kind of worn out look. And basically, it, but it just shows up so much better on the black. In fact, I'm gonna go right in here. I'm gonna like, see I'm adding a little bit more. 
I'm adding like just kind of some extra little like pock marks. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little heavier on one part than others. But I think it's gonna it's gonna look right. See, doesn't that look cool now? He went from being like plain droid to now it looks like a little more chipped, like, oh okay, something happened right there. He got dinged. So it's kind of building a little story as you're painting. Uh, what's the best length of blade for sabers? Uh, I like the smaller ones, but again, I'm a short, fat dude, so I don't know. Uh, if they made one out of wood and metal, yeah, right? If they actually did something crafty, that'd be cool. Uh, Dana, when you went to Droid Depot, did you ask if they had battle droid parts? No, I did not ask, because I knew they didn't. Uh, Scott.